not that heavy. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Welcome back to another video. This right here. It's been a while since I did a video like this. Is my whole fire alarm collection as you guys can see. So let's get started. Ugh. Ugh. This thing is heavy. Not really. So, so first off, we're gonna show you guys the um all the actual notification appliances. Then we'll show you all the pull stations. So, put this thing down. Ugh. So right here is my Simpson sensor Spectrular Classic H twelve twenty four. So basically, this is just a horn version of the original one without the fire lettering, and there's no scope. So I'll put it right there. Next off is my Spectral Advance P2R. Um, in order to um, get inside the terminals, you need to unscrew this part right here, the bottom. Take it out. Put your wires in. Put it back in. Screw it in. Bam. It opens. So there's only two tones um, continuous and code three. Um, High, medium, and low. Um, it is fixed candela. I ha currently have it 1575, but it don't matter what candela setting you put on. Next up, we have the Wheelock NS24MCW. Of course, this back cover part it loves to come off. It really does. So, see multi candela. You can choose any candela. What um, setting you want? I have 110. Um, this is actually my first ever horn stroke um, notification appliance, so pretty cool. Next up, we have a Vero Signal um, V1971 strobe on a 4050D horn. So, this is just strobe right here. You know what the coolest? makes a little horn sound when you pound the back of it. Kind of weird. Here we got both my Wheelock MTs. Um, this is an MT424 slash IS. This is a Wheelock MT24 MCW. As you guys can see, it is multi candela. Um, four wired. Um, I already have the um, pre-wiring to go along because four wiring means you need to have four small wires running from your positive of your horn and strobe and then your negative from your horn and strobe only two wires need to go to your negative audio and your positive strobe so that's how it works and it's multi-tone as well so you can pick any tone you want if it's continuous go three March time, high low, siren, whoop. You get the idea. Same thing with this one as well. This was actually my first MT, and then this one's my second one. Pretty cool. Uh, what else? Wheelock RSS waterproof. So, this is an outdoor fire alarm device. And how you can tell, these right here. And it's a fixed 75 candela. As you guys can see, it says uh, 75 CD WP. It means it's waterproof. So. Alright, next up is my Simplex Truller ES. This is a 49AV WRS. So this is a smart sync. Um, multi-tone, multi-candela. And the fascinating thing is the candela window is on the side. On the older True Alerts, they had it over here. There's a little bump down and it'll show you the candela. Or they'll just put a sticker in the strobe and tell you if it's a fixed candela or not. Speaking of fixed candelas, this is a Wheelock E70 24110. 
so this is a um, fixed 110 candela stroke. Did you guys see? It says 110. I don't know if you guys saw it right. P70. Um, now, this is actually my first ever speaker stroke. I did not unbox this because I totally forgot to. Okay. All right. Let's go on to my mini series. Oh, wait. I have one more. Oh, I have two more remote strokes I need to show you all. <laughs> well, let me get my other uh, device to. Let me get my other stroke devices and I'll show you all the pole stations I have. Mine is the simplex one. So we, this one is a Wheelock EM3T24. It is a fixed 117 candela stroke. It says on the sticker. I don't know if you guys can really see that well. But this is a fixed 117 candela. I really cannot get the terminal to loosen up. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Strobe looks kind of weird, but um, hopefully I'll get this thing working soon. Next up, we have my Siemens UMCS. Um, I think U U slash MCS. Yep. So there it is. My first actual Siemens fire alarm device. Um, I got, I actually got, okay, story time. So one day there's this um, fire company called Horse and Fire and Security. Um, and it, that was from central Indiana. The car wash I used to work at, they had a full on Siemens um, fire alarm system. Now the thing is, they actually had to replace one of the pole stations, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Um, and they gave it to me, and then they gave me this as well. So I didn't have to pay it down for this thing. So, and there is four terminals. It doesn't matter which one you use. Um, it's going to still be two wired operational. Um, remote stroke. So, all right, go on to the small. Fire line devices. First off, we have is my Spectral Advanced MHW mini horn. Don't mind the fire lighter. <laughs> I put that on there just for the heck of it. But yeah, two wires. Now the thing is, the wires have to go on these two slots right here on the top, and you have a little volume switch for your temporal and continuous. So it. This is basically used as like a hotel fire alarm device. So, you'll probably see those at some point. Next off is my Gentex GX93 SISAR, my first ever Gentex alarm. Also, as a mini horn to be used in a hotel room. But it's pretty cool. I'm happy about it. So. Next off is my first EST device. This is a G1RS such HDVM. Um, also at a fixed candela. Well, not fixed, but it's multi candela. The horn, fortunately, the horn is starting to die down to where I can't hear it anymore. All right, time for the pole stations. Pole station, pole stations. Um, where is the? Where is this? Bye, I had it somewhere. All right, so pole stations, pole stations, pole stations. First off, we have my first ever pole station. This is the original Firelight BG12. So it's simple, you just push in, pull down. But I'll show you a demonstration of another one because I actually have a key for it. So um, you have two terminals on the back, pretty cool. Next off is my Firelight BG12L. Um, I'm currently using this one, as you can see, <laughs> with all the wires and shenanigans and all that. Don't mind it. Now, the reason why 
um, there's only one wire sticking out because you need to have instead of two wires hanging out. So when you do your fire alarm shenanigans, you need to have at least one of the wires um, disconnected from the from over here. This this one goes to the fire alarm device that you plan to use. So. And this one does look about the same as the other one I just showed you, the BG12. Push it. Pull down. But, here's a twist. You actually need a key. So, you need a... Firelight BG12 key, 1703. So, pretty easy. Just put it in. Place it to your left. Open it. Close it. And once you have closed it, it up and then you're open. Pretty cool, right? Ugh. Next up, we have is the one I was talking to you about. This is the Siemens um, HMS D. So, this is a dual action pulsation. You just do your little push in and pull down. Unfortunately, I don't have the hex to it at the moment. Alright, what else? Then we got a notifier BNG1. Um, my first actual notified pole station. Now, there's two ways you can either pull it or I got the key for it. And these are no, and these are like another like pole station where you have to like put the key in, and twist it to your left, and bam. Now, unfortunately, they give me the wrong um, coloring of it, but oh well. And uh, then we got my um, notifier um, NAR10. So this is a agent release pole station. Um, and get this. This actually uses the same hex as the Siemens pole station. I showed you all earlier. And then we have this um this abort switch by Chemitronics. It's this whole toggle up. Is this to abort lift cover? I I honestly just don't have a reason for this. <laughs> at all. And of course we have the um, Honeywell Wave series. Um, I honestly don't know what it's usually for. General signaling and security equipment. That's, oh. Interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I might as well go ahead and see. So, that is all I have inside this crate. Yeah, unfortunately there was some Lego pieces and like trash in here. I don't know why. Yeah. So all that just from this thing. So yeah, um, that's gonna do it. Um, if you guys have any questions based on any of these fire alarm devices, please let me know. Um, I'd like to hear your thoughts and which one is your favorite. I love all of them. I really do. Now the thing is, would you guys like to see one go off? Cause I would love to hear. I would love to see one of y'all's um, live, y'all's reaction. Um, let's do. 
Oh. The P2R. I'll be right back. Alright, so. Here is what the wiring looks like. So far. And this is what you need to have it like. Okay. Alright, so. Let's get the back plate. Oh, it's just right here. Um, maybe. <laughs> Normally you have to put, like, put the top on first. Top on first and then put the bottom on. There you go. Alright, so we're going to screw it in. Righty tight. Alright, and then we're going to plug it in and sound this sucker. Bring this over here. Alright. Where did I put my keys? Um, this might be a problem. <laughs> I'll be right back. Never mind, I found them. Alright. Here we go. In three, two, one. Was loud not really that was on like the lotus that was at like the lowest setting all right so now we're gonna do is pulsate and activate it from the inside <laughs> very cool and like i said that's at 15 75 candela for the strobe so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you find that video pretty interesting, did a little demonstration on how my fire alarms work, let me know in the comments. So, next, guys, say hi, have a great day, and I'll see you later in another video. Peace out.